In this module, you will learn about the different types of soil and the crops grown in them. Soil is not similar everywhere. Soil is classified into various types based on the appearance and proportion of particles. If the soil is made of greater proportion of big particles, it is called sandy soil. Sand particles are relatively large. They cannot fit closely together. So, there are large spaces between them. These places are filled with air. Therefore, in this type of soil, water absorption is very high as the water passes quickly through these spaces. These soils are light, well aerated and dry. The next type of soil is clay soil. It is made of a relatively high proportion of fine particles. Unlike sandy soils, these soils have very less space between particles. Because the particles are smaller in size, water can be trapped in the tiny gaps between them. Clay soils are heavy and hold more water. Yet another type of soil is loamy soil, which is a mixture of sand, soil and silt. Silt particles are present between sand and soil particles. It also contains humus and is, therefore, considered the best for the growth of plants. Based on the composition and absorption rate of soils, different crops are grown in them. In a vast country like ours, we can find all the different types of soils in different areas. There is clay soil in some parts, loamy soil in some, and sandy soil in others. Soil is affected by wind, rainfall, and humidity. These affect the soil profile and are responsible for changes in the soil. In addition, climatic factors as well as the components of the soil determine the types of vegetation and crops that grow in a particular area. Cereals like wheat and gram are grown in clay and loamy soils because these soils have better water retention capacity. Soil rich in clay and organic matter with good water retention capacity are ideal for paddy. Loamy soil, which drains water easily, is suitable for lentils and other pulses. For cotton, loamy or sandy soils are more suitable. Because of their water draining, and air logging capacity. Soil that is rich in humus and fertile is clay soil. These soils are very good for wheat. In this module, you learned that the relative amount of sand and clay depends on the rock from which the particles have been formed. The basis for the classification of soil is the proportion of particles of various sizes in it.
sandy soil is made of a greater proportion of big particles. Sandy soils are light, well aerated and dry. Clay soil is made of a relatively higher proportion of fine particles. Clay soils are heavy and hold more water. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand, soil and silt. Humus is also present in loamy soil. Thank <laughs> you.